show, The Sex Lives of College Girls, is back for season two. And my guest today is a model, actor, and the newest star playing Jackson, the dreamy boy next door. Please join me in welcoming Mitchell Slagger to Fresh Out Live. <laughs> Woo! Oh, goodness! The jacket feels great. You look amazing. <laughs> How's it feel to be in New York City right now? Feels great to be back. I haven't been back here in a while, so it's like as soon as you get back and like, step out of the airport, you can just feel the energy. It's electric. So. Man, because you were back here hustling, taking classes, <laughs> and now yep. here you are, Times Square. It's all paid off, and uh, I'm very fortunate. So thank you for having me too. Of course, you are welcome anytime. So you play Jackson, a brand new character, the latest season on The Sex Lives of College Girls. <laughs> Can you please tell us who Jackson is and how he really fits in and enjoys this sex life world? Yeah, so Jackson is just a corn farmer from Kansas, you know? It, it is, his, his school gets absolutely wrecked by a tornado. And, you know, I moved around a lot growing up, so I just took a lot that I have from my personal life and put it in this role, and it was just, you know, it's just seamless, per se. I love it. <laughs> now, you said that this season keeps you on your toes and you have not lied, but how does your character, Jackson, really fit into that equation? And as an actor, how did you choose to approach your character? So, I don't know if I can answer that just yet, because I think you just have to, you know, tune in to find out how it keeps you on your toes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> how does... How do you approach your character as an actor? So, I mean, I kind of just drew a lot from my own life experience, you know, because I grew up in the woods. I have a lot of farmer friends and I just kind of talked to them, you know, so just drawing from my own life. It was, I said, just yeah, out there yeah, doing you. Just out doing me. That's just how learning you got from the experience, role. yeah. That's how you got the role. So even the audition process, did, did they just know it was, tell me about that. It was actually funny because like the, I auditioned, my role for when I was auditioning, it was mm -hmm. like, I was kind of a douchebag. And then like in the show, I'm like the nice guy. And I was like, I don't hate it, you know? <laughs> Uh, both would both would be fun to play, but I much prefer the nice guy. That's more tailored to me. So tailored to you, yeah. okay? I like I like it. It fits you well. Now this show, when you talk about the show, you know, as a whole, incredible cast, oh, yeah. impeccable production, and transitioning yourself from a model to an actor, a true <laughs> thespian, if you will. Um, what is the best piece of advice that you received along this process? It's hard to narrow it down just for one, but. I was always kind of like, it's called the artless art form. So if it looks like you're acting, you're, you know, it's no bueno, toss it out the window. So just kind of don't overthink it, prepare it, and just flow with it. So, Boom. yeah. And that's, you, know, you really took that, because yeah. you just, I'm gonna yeah. do my thing. Yep, and bingo. And you. Now question, is it getting hot in here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's getting a little hot. It's getting a little hot. Well, things were definitely getting very hot in the world of Jackson and Kimberly on the show. What can you tease for us about their relationship as the final episodes mm. will unfold? Give us something. Gets a little spicy. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Okay. Um, do they end well? I don't know if I can answer that. I think you gotta tune in to find out again. I'm sorry, I can't. I love it. You wanna spoiling. make us work hard, but yeah. let me tell you something yeah. before I let you go. There is something I hope that you can share with me. Now, the soundtrack of the show is stellar. Love the music. <laughs> and oftentimes, college kids use music as a way to navigate their journeys through college. I know I had a playlist for every theme and every semester, but during your college days, because you were mm. once a college student, what music motivated you during your college time? Okay, you're all gonna make fun of me a little bit, but I mean, I like Cody Jenks. I like country music. I mean, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it's kind of like good background music. You can kind of like still focus and kind of tune it out a little bit. It's nothing wrong with yeah, that. I love it. Yeah. Own that. Yeah, oh yeah. All right, I love it. Okay, really quick. 2022 was your favorite artist this year? Tyler Childers. Okay, yeah, I love it. Like, so shout out yeah. to you, Mitchell, for stopping by and kicking it with us. I want you guys here to support this show. And be sure to check out season two of the Sex Lives of College Girls out now.